Hey there beauties, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. By the title of this video, you guys already know what it is. My first package from Sephora has arrived. And so I'm gonna take some time. We're gonna look through the package and we're gonna see what I got. Now, this is going to be part one of two videos because you guys, I essentially lost my damn mind during this sale. I'm not gonna lie. To give you some context, I had a budget. I had a budget set for this sale. I was gonna stick to that budget, which is what this first order is, basically. Um, but if you guys didn't know, I used to be a Sephora employee pretty much up until about January of this year. I'm just used to always having that discount. I haven't paid full price for products in a long time. And this sale or in preparation for this sale, you know, going through my wish list, getting my car together, I started to realize like, wow, this is an expensive habit. And so I came, you know, I tried to make sense of it and I said, I'm getting everything I need and most of what I want because I'm not gonna pay full price for these products. Like I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. I might as well just get it all out now and not shop for a while. Like, I don't think you guys will be seeing another Sephora haul after these VIB sale hauls are over. Probably until the next VIB sale, just because your girl is set. Nevertheless, I am really excited about the items that I picked up, so let's get to it. I do have a couple of items that are not from Sephora that I just purchased, and I'm like, we're doing a haul, I'm gonna throw some of those in there. And then one item, um, set of items actually that you could pick up from Sephora, but I got a better deal on the brand website So I picked it up from there instead So without further ado if you're interested in seeing the first order of mine of what I picked up stay tuned and Yeah, let's see. All right, y'all um, You see I'm already getting lost This is the box. I'm just gonna put put the box a little bit to the side y'all might see it it is what it is, and I'm just gonna go through at random and show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up during the sale, but I didn't pick it up from Sephora, is this Tatcha set. Can you guys see here? Now, if you watch my recommendations video, you know that I was raving about the Tatcha Essence, and I told you guys I was gonna pick it up at the sale. Well, I was gonna pick it up at the sale, but while I was on Sephora, I mean, while I was on Instagram, sorry, not Sephora, I got one of those Instagram ads and Tatcha was having their own sale. So, this is the set. The packaging is super cute, I'm not even gonna lie. Tatcha definitely gets points for that. But this is the set. So, I got a full size of the Essence, which you can't see because it's clear and white and the background is right, but this is a full size of the Tatcha set. I got the Violet Sea Radiance, Violet Sea Radiance Mask, as well as, and this is a full size as well, and the Violet Sea Brightening Serum. And then a little applicator for the mask. This entire set, I think was $120 or $130, something like that. This by itself is basically $100, it's like $90. And then this by itself is $65. And this full size, full price is $88. So I just, I couldn't pass this up. I couldn't pass this up. It was a way better deal than what I was gonna get on Sephora. And so I picked it up from the Tatcha website, but all of these items are available at Sephora. So this was my first major steal here. The other item that I picked up that is not from Sephora is this liquid lipstick. And this is from Minted Cosmetic. It's in the color Blood Orange. I do love Minted Cosmetic um, lipsticks. I have three of them. It's the color I'm wearing today. And this is what it looks like. It wasn't on sale or anything. I just like the color and so I purchased it. Those are the only two things that I didn't pick up from Sephora but bought within the same time frame. So let's get into the items that I actually did get from Sephora. I'm just gonna randomly pick out the box and we're gonna see where we're at. So the first item that I picked up was a foundation and I picked this up because I fully intend to do a review on it. With summer coming up, I think it's going to be a foundation a lot of people wanna see. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Fluid to Powder Foundation with broad spectrum of um, SPF 20. 
this is what what it looks like in the packaging I got mine in the shade almond which is coated c84 and this is what the foundation looks like super sleek nice packaging seems travel friendly you know for oily skin girls like myself this is supposed to be the next best thing like you're supposed to not be able to set it so i'm really excited to try this i initially had in my cart the um makeup forever matte velvet foundation and in, in anticipation of getting that for the summer and then i saw that bobby brown came out with this and if you guys watch my recommendation you know i love 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 um, my other Bobbi Brown foundation, this one right here, the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, and this is matte, and I think this is the even the foundation I was wearing in that video. So if this is Skin Longwear Fluid to Powder, she might be a banger. So I hope that this doesn't disappoint. If you're interested in seeing this in a review, let me know in the comments. Sticking with foundations, I picked up finally, long overdue guys, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade 70 Cool Blue, that's the shade. This is the foundation that I am wearing today and I think it matches perfectly. You guys already know I'm late to the game on this, but a lot of people love this foundation. I think it wears beautifully. I'm filming this video after a full work day. I did my makeup at 6 o'clock this morning and I'm filming this video at like 7. I do not regret purchasing this at all. I think this is a good shade. I'm really glad with that purchase. So that is that. If you guys still want me to do a review on this foundation, I can. But I mean there's a million of them out there. But if you guys are interested, there isn't a million of them on my shade because... I seem to be an anomaly. I am the girl that is never the shade that everyone else is reviewing. So if you are of a similar skin tone to myself and you want to see me review this so you can get a shade reference, I'm more than happy to do that for you. All right, y'all. What else did I get? Oh, this is just um, some stuff I got with my points. This is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse, the little mini Sephora um, points. So this is the Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse um, Cleanser, the mini travel size. I saw this and I was like, hmm, I wanted to try this, but mostly I picked it up for this Tatcha, um, the water cream moisturizer. I have a lot of minis that I need to finish up. Um, so I didn't want to buy a big, like, full size moisturizer this time around until I finish those. But I do love this moisturizer. I think it's gonna be great for the summertime and that's the main reason I use my points to pick it up. And then this is just an added bonus so I will see how they work in, yeah. I also picked up just some Sephora facial cottons. They feel really, really nice. These were like $4 a piece and I was out. And I actually really enjoy the Sephora facial cotton, so I bought two. They're way cheaper than the Shiseido cottons. I'm not gonna pay that for no cotton pads. So I bought these, they work great. They don't leave any fuzzies on my face and they get the job done. Next item, I bought the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray Weightless. This is gonna be my tried and true setting spray, I already know. I tried this one time, um, maybe back in October. Uh, I was coming from work and going to uh, dinner with my friend Jessica and I had some congestion, like I was having allergies and my nose was running. And if you suffer from that, then you know that around here your makeup will start to wear off. And I didn't want to be looking crazy at the dinner table. So I ran to Sephora to like touch up my makeup and I told the sales rep like, hey, this is what's happening. I can't be looking crazy. And she was like, I have the perfect thing for you. So she did me a service. She touched on my makeup and she set my face with this setting spray. When I tell you guys, I spent the next two hours, two and a half hours blowing and blowing and blowing and wiping my nose and my makeup when I left the restaurant was still in place. I said, oh yeah, that's it. I have to get me some of this. The next item that I got is this NARS liquid blush and I got it in the shade Torrid, which is a nice like peachy shade. 
I was going back and forth between the one that I have now, which is um, Dulce Vita, I believe, and this one when I bought Dulce Vita, and I love how that goes on. I think it's so beautiful. And for um, spring and summer, I'm just like, I need the other color because Dulce Vita is more of like a deep purple. That's a more of a fall color, and I wanted to add this one to my collection so I could use in the spring and summertime. So, all right, keep it on with the cream products. I also bought this order from Sephora a little bit before the Sephora sale happened. Fenty was having 50% off on their matchsticks. And so I picked up three of them. So the three that I picked up, the first one is a restock item. It is the Espresso. You guys have seen these over and over again, I'm sure. This is the one that I have now. You guys can see it's pretty much gone. Um, this is my daily contour bronzing cream stick. I use it every time basically I do my makeup. It's lasted me a long time. I think this one lasted me about a year. So I'm really happy with that. But I'm about to be out of this. And so I picked up this one just to have a backup. The other one that I picked up is Cognac. Which is this gorgeous gorgeous shade it looks like this it doesn't look like much in the stick but i'm gonna swatch it for you guys do you guys see i am obsessed i'm obsessed so i picked up cognac and while we're swatching the matchsticks let's go ahead and swatch the next one the next one that i picked up is bordeaux brat bordeaux brat it's like um like a nice very purplish type shade and that is what she swatches like these two colors i am really looking forward to trying out i love the formula of the matchsticks so i pick all three of those up and i'm happy so the matchsticks we got those i also picked up the new fenty um cream bronzers i feel like this is the year of bronzers bronzers and concealers so this is the cream fenty bronzer it has cream on it because it looks a lot like the the other ones like the packaging and stuff i think it's so nice our classic fenty packaging y'all already know riri comes through for us every single time i picked mine up in the shade chocolate and it looks like it's gonna work really really nice okay i will be doing a review um on these so i'm not gonna swatch it i did order a blush that you guys will see in my next haul it is not here yet and then we will probably be doing a full face of fenty and putting this to the test i'm so tempted to dip my finger in it y'all don't even know but i'm not gonna do it because i love y'all i'm not gonna cheat y'all we're gonna do it together so that is this product here and keep it on the blush train i picked up two of these sephora blushes and i picked up two shades one in the shade poppy and one in the shade tiger lily let's try to open them i hate this the damn plastic on these things okay so this is what poppy looks like it looks light because it has two colors. There's this darker color here and then this lighter peach color. I picked this up because that same dinner I was telling y'all about earlier, she touched up my blush with this blush and I liked how it looked. So I'm confident that this will work on my skin tone. Looking at it in the pan, I wouldn't be as confident, but because um, a Sephora artist used it on me before, that is why I picked it up this is the shade what did i say tiger lily and that is what this shade looks like and this is definitely chocolate girl friendly i know it doesn't look like it because the camera is making it look a lot lighter than it looks in the pan but you have this beautiful orange shade and i don't know what color this is it's like a muted pink um I think that's gonna be beautiful. Some more complexion that I picked up. This is the Taint Idol Ultra Wear um, Makeup Stick. So it's basically the cult favorite, the Lancome Taint Idol Foundation, but in a stick form. 
I got mine in the same shade that I wear the foundation, which is 510, Suede 510. And after watching reviews, I heard that this foundation stick version of it is just a little bit more matte. So I wanted to try out this stick because I love the foundation, but maybe this is a great alternative for the summer and then I can use the liquid for fall and winter months. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. We'll probably be doing a review on it even though it's an older product. The one thing I don't like automatically is that how cheap the stickering looks on this. It almost takes away from the luxury of it being Lancome. Like I kind of just want to take this off because you have this nice sleek packaging here and then yeah we're probably just gonna take that off you see like this was not necessary but the packaging without the sticker looks very luxe looks sleek so i'm just gonna keep mine like that i don't like this this is gonna go there's that um, the next complexion product that I purchased is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Con uh, Glow Concealer. Y'all, if you know me, you know I love, love, love the Luminous Silk um, Foundation. It is definitely in, like, in the top five of my favorite foundations of all time. Hands down, no joke, point blank, period gorgeous foundation it is probably what I will wear on my wedding day I'm not even kidding so when I saw that they were coming out with a concealer y'all know I had to pick it up so I picked mine up in the shade 8.75 this is the concealer I'm wearing under my eyes and so far um I am not disappointed I will just say that um do I have any other makeup products y'all I'm just pulling and pulling and pulling y'all know when we were kids and they used to pull the um the scarf out of the hat with the bunny rabbit the magic hat that's how i feel going through this sephora box it is absurd that i bought this much and i still have packages coming we're not gonna talk about it anyway um i also picked up another setting spray this is the caudalie beauty elixir i love this I'm very happy to have this in my collection. If you guys don't know, this is just like a, ooh, smells so good. It's like a refreshing spray. Um, you can use it before you do your makeup as, you know, part of your priming step. You could use it in your skincare, a, like a refreshing mist before you go to bed, once you've done your whole routine. I love this stuff. So I picked that up because it's quite expensive and I will buy it anytime there's a sale. Okay, this is the Tatcha um, One Step Camila Cleansing Oil. I finished, in you guys, in my recommendation video, you guys saw I recommended the Caudalie one, but I wanted to try something different this time, and it was between this and the Dermalogical one, and I think the Tatcha one was a little bit cheaper, and I think I just like the packaging better. It matches, <laughs> just a silly reason, but, it matches the essence really, really nicely, and I think on display, it'll look cute. So I bought this one. Um, but this is the Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. If you don't know, double cleansing is very, very important, especially to makeup lovers like us. You have to go in with something, an oil-based cleanser or something to really get the makeup out of your pores and to really give your skin um, that opportunity to be at its best. So I am an avid double cleansing girl and I always go in with some type of oil or cleansing balm something of the sort so for now we're gonna give this one a try and I'm very excited to see how it performs so yeah that's that I picked up this ordinary um hyaluronic acid 2% and B5 um serum just because I feel like I needed a basic hydrating serum in my routine it doesn't always have to be you know a brightening serum, a acne serum. I just needed a basic one that I can use for my general routine. And I'm like, okay, this is as basic in it as it gets. Hyaluronic acid, which is great for keeping the skin moisturized. And B5, I don't need anything else. So I picked that up. I also picked up this acne control um, post acne spot 
lightening gel what this does is this fades um post acne discoloration which if you are a woman of color you know exactly what i'm talking about it doesn't matter if you leave your spot your acne alone it doesn't matter if you don't pick at that pimple if you have some sort of pimple chances are it's going to leave um a scar and so i read the reviews on this and this is supposed to be really good at fading those scars relatively quickly and so i'm hopeful that this will help fade my scars a little bit quicker just because I, I want that glass skin like everybody else so that's this this is the foaming truth cleanser and this was more of an impulse buy i bought this because i like the truth serum and it was already on sale like it was already ten dollars less than the original price plus i was getting a discount on it so I bought this. I think this will be great for like um, my daytime skin routine just in the morning when I'm, I don't wear makeup to bed. So just something to wake me up, refresh the skin. I think this will be good for that. All right, y'all, we are down to the last couple of products in this order. So I picked up this another Huda Beauty uh, lipstick. This is her, I think, bullet lipstick. I love the formula of this but I don't have um, anything pink in my collection. Like I was looking earlier for some pink lipstick and I don't have any. So I picked up this one because I am ready for spring, if y'all cannot tell. And I picked it up in the shade Spring Break, telling, just because I wanted something that would be a little bit more of a pop of color. And this is what we're looking like, so. I swatched it right here. Let me see if I can make that a bit more visible for y'all. So that is it right here. And I think it's going to be really, really pretty. I haven't owned a pink lipstick in a while, I guess. When I decluttered, I guess I threw it away. The last pink lipstick I can remember owning is Candy Yum Yum by MAC. And if you guys are true makeup junkies, I'm sure you remember that lipstick. So it's been a long time and I, I just, I needed to have one in my collection. Everyone should have a pink lipstick in their collection. But like a true pop out pink, every woman should have one. Just like you should have a red. So I picked this up. On the skincare trend, keeping up with that, I picked up this Luna Mini 2. And this is an investment because um, this device is not cheap. Um, but this is the Ferrero Luna Mini 2. I got mine in the pink blush shade. This is a facial cleansing device. I have never owned a Clarisonic. The last facial cleansing device that I uh, owned was that spin brush that was popular a couple years ago. And I picked this up because it seems to be a little more um, less prone to breaking me out. Like I Feel like the spin brush works for a while but bacteria can get trapped in those and you it's not like clarisonic where you can just go and get a new brush head and this you don't have that problem because of the material it's made out of and you don't have to change any brush heads and it gives your skin a deep cleanse and so i'm very excited to now own this and try it out and see if it makes a difference for a hundred and something dollars i it better make a difference um i just restocked i don't know if this is in my recommendations video but it's definitely in a favorites or something on my channel this is the amica soul food nourishing face mask everyone in my household uses this mask my fiance my daughter and myself if they had a massive size of it i would have got that because we just we go through this like like it's nothing literally um this is a beautiful hair mask it will leave it will do everything you need it to do like i'm not gonna get into a whole spiel if you're interested in hearing my thoughts i think it's in my 2019 favorites or something like that i'll link that um video down below but we're out or literally just scraping the um jar at this point so i had to pick up another one another thing i picked up with my points is just a mini of the pharmacy green clean you guys know i love this but because i wanted to try something else i didn't pick it up um because i wanted to try the tatcha but they were having it with the points and i'm like oh yeah okay i can still get it but not pay for it and so i picked it up with my points all right y'all this is the last thing that i have for this um part one of my haul this is the uh balenciaga paris flora botanica perfume 
this is what the box looked like and I picked this up because of Rosita Applebaum and um is it Kelsey I think Kelsey or Kendra from the Glam Twins who also got it because of Rosita Applebaum her taste and scent is very similar to mine everything she recommends that I've tried before I love so when she recommended this I tried it I have been using it the last couple of days and I will say I really 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 like it I kind of wish I bought the bigger bottle but I had spent enough money and I'm like you need to slow down so I bought this this is what it looks like super cool kind of funky packaging I really really like it it is literally like if you like floral scents this is a floral girl's dream it is beautiful for the springtime it is not too heavy it's light it smells nice it's like a nice refreshing scent I will probably when I run out of this be purchasing the larger size those are all of the products that I purchased in my first round one of my Sephora shopping rampage <laughs> um I am super excited to try all of these products if there is anything that I mentioned here that you're interested in seeing a review on please let me know in the comments if you picked up any of these items yourself I would love to hear about it if you tried them before the sale you know share the secrets let your girl know what you think did it work for you did you like it did you not like it let's talk about it down in the comments if you enjoyed the content enjoy the video today please like comment and subscribe every single one of you matters every view matters every comment matters every subscriber matters so i really appreciate all of you who took the time to watch my previous videos and appreciate you taking the time to watch this one i will see you in the part two of the sephora madness and we'll see what i get next time until then be blessed and good night